going to get on that stand, you watch, and he's going to incriminate himself for spare Cheryl Stansberry. You don't know what he's going to say. Demetra, I can see it clearly. Either he's going to incriminate himself, or Cheryl's going to do the job for him. Do you think she's going to accuse him? I hope to God that I'm wrong. I don't want to see my son Julian go to prison. Don't worry, my love. You're not going to lose your son again. <coughs> Don't worry, Jake doesn't think it will be. He thinks all the jury have to hear is that someone else was there that night and fired shots at Olivia. I'll tell you what's been taking so long. Yeah, now. We're going to have to hold on just a little bit longer. The judge is coming, he's on his way. He's just apparently caught up in some massive traffic jam. Yeah. Is Robert going to be here? Well, I'm sure he will. You probably want to bring Cheryl over personally. Oh, yeah. We've seen some bizarre cases in our time, but I think this one tops them all. No, I think you're right. However, I want to get this to the lab anyway, even though I'll bet the farm I know what they'll find. <laughs> if you're right about this, then you didn't lie to Tiffany. And this is going to be the biggest scoop she's ever had in her life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got two things. Number one, the surveillance team over Victor Jerome's. They reported that they followed Victor, his lady friend, and a bodyguard over to the courthouse. Number two, the DNA lab called. They said that Julian's hair did not match that found at Anna's. You can't afford it, one. Listen, take this down to the lab, have the boys go all the way through it. They know what I'm looking for. Okay. I want the report yesterday. You got it. Uh, I want the... Um, I want the surveillance at the courthouse beefed up a little bit. Keep an eye on between Demetra. Done. And what about uh, New York? What do we know? Nothing yet. Well, I'll find out. Will you get on? I'm, I'm on it. I'm on my way. I know. Hey, what a day. I almost I didn't miss anything. Uh, no, you didn't, actually. Uh, but it's getting pretty full in there, you know. I don't know if you can find a seat by this time. Oh, no. I knew I'd missed everything. Oh, tell me, did the mystery witnesses testify yet? No, 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 not yet. You know, uh, why don't you go in there and see if you can't find a seat? You know, weasel your way in somewhere. Yeah, I think I'll give it a go. Good. Yes, can you tell me the lady who's on the list? It's around the corner down the hall. You can't miss it. Ta, ta, ta. You know, I do not understand what in the world is going on. I'm glad you're here. I'm giving you a special assignment. Make sure that Tony here doesn't have any more patients uh, right now and that he gets plenty of rest. Does that mean you're off medical leave? As of now, it's official. Fantastic! I'm sure his patients will agree with you, and of course, his, his schedule will be on a limited basis. Well, you must be happy. I know how much you hated being off duty. Yeah, I'd be happier if I could go back into surgery, hey, but I can't. Uh, your talents in OR will be sorely missed, but hopefully not for long. I hope so. At least we know where I stand medically now. And that's half the battle. You bet it is. Excuse me. So, uh, why don't you want to be in the same room as Jake? Really, Tony, everything's such a mess. What happened? It's a long story, and it's not very pretty, but I'll tell you that sometime. Does this mean that you and Jake may not be together again? I don't think so. I thought I knew Jake, but he's changed so much in such a short period of time. 
Well, I didn't see that much change, but I wasn't married well, to him either. Sometimes it's hard for me to believe that I ever was. You no, know, Bobby, he's been under a lot of pressure with this trial. Maybe when it's over, you guys can talk. I don't think so. We don't even speak the same language anymore. Well, Bobby, attorney, you might want to see this. TV coverage of the courthouse. They're about to bring in those uh, mystery witnesses. He intends to call his first mystery witness as soon as court convenes. At this point, the identity of the witnesses is still a well-guarded secret, but we believe they will be brought into the building through this corridor and can be identified at that time. Yeah. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, I'm kind of glad the judge was like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we're still waiting. No. Okay, well, look, just go ahead and put him on the stand. If anything develops here, you'll be the first to know, pal. Yeah, all the best. Robert, when we look at the downside of this thing, what if Cheryl and Julian testify and the judge doesn't dismiss the charges against Anna? Well, point one, I'd be looking to see his pocket Delaney's. Oh, come on, Delaney. I mean, he may be tough. He's all law and order. He's a straight shooter. But what if Baldwin is right and the judge feels that their testimony is just cooperation of Anna's guilt? Sean, it's all a case of time. Once the suspect's in custody, the rest of it's irrelevant. Bad news. Oh, don't tell me. Our friend of the New York PD just called, said that our suspect got on a plane leaving New York two hours ago. I told you not to tell me. Where'd he go? That's the bad news. He got on the shuttle for Port Charles. Two hours ago. But where's Sheriff? Oh, She's already on her way to the courthouse. You had the guard pick her up from a while ago. And... We are coming to you from Superior Court as we wait for the first of the so-called mystery witnesses to appear. And from outside reports, one of them is on their way in right now. As you can see, the corridor is total chaos, with reporters and spectators trying to get a closer look at the situation. Oh my God, it's no, Cheryl, don't worry about anything. Let me make a statement. I would like to make a statement. My sister, Cheryl Sansbury, came forward on her own accord. She is guilty of no crime, and she will not make a statement at all until after she testifies. Thank you. Delaney presiding. Be seated. Will counsel please approach the bench? What about these mystery witnesses, Jake? Your Honor, I'm prepared to present two eyewitnesses to the shooting of Olivia St. John. Your Honor, I read those statements, and I don't think they saw enough of the shooting to be viable witnesses. I see. Well, then we'd better get on with it. Let the jury hear what they have to say. Thank you, Thank you Your Honor. Judging by the noise outside, Your Honor, I would think that the witnesses arrived. Could you call the witness in, please? Where are you going? Julian could be the first witness. I'm going to the ladies' hall. I'll be right back. We're not 
sure exactly what happened, but one official Alert, said alert emergency. We're bound to get some casualties from that explosion. Maybe more if there's gunfire. Well, Jake is there, and Duke and Anna, I have to go. No, no, you couldn't even get close to that. Place. Tony's right, you'll be more helpful here if there are any faces. It happened so fast. Did anybody see who took Cheryl? No. We'd better get the ER. Come on. Okay. Court recessed until further notice. Get those jurors out of here. What happened out there? No, it sounded like an explosion. I guess they're trying to clear the car right now. Oh my God, I had no idea. With all those people out there, I can't see how nobody was. Mitra, settle down. Her, take care of her, please. Oh, Dennis, you're right. Hey, come on, Dennis. Uh, she was, but the uh, killer's got his holy house is probably headed toward the roof. Okay. Please go back inside. Stay with Anna. Just go back. I'll be in in a moment. Get these people out of here. Please. Pull them out right now. Why not? I got a bunch of swatmen up on the rooftops. They can't see anything up there. What about the base? No, there's nobody down there. You know, had to go to the roof. All right, I'm going to tell Jake. All right, listen. Get this camera out of here. I hold it right down there. Right. Would you like to make a statement? Jill Stansberry hostage. Help! Get around the room! Julian! Come on, Julian! Get up there! You have to let me go to the roof and talk to him, don't you understand? What are you, crazy lady? He's armed and dangerous. You're staying right here, and so is everybody else. Hold right there, hold right there. Don't kill me. Shut up, will you? Shut up. Coming down a fast way. Okay. Not nervous. Don't do anything. You stay where you are. And your little girlfriend here will be okay. Sure. I just, just want to talk. Don't hurt her. No, you don't talk. I talk. All right. You. You tell me what you want, and I'll see if I can help you. Just don't. Don't hurt her. There's a gate up here with a padlock on it. I want the key. You want the key to the padlock? I'll get it. Damn right you'll get it. Or she'll be splattered all over the place. Oh, hey, hey! Oh. Right. I don't want that. I want a helicopter up on the roof. And I want time to get away. Sure. Send it down and I'll arrange it for you. <laughs> what do you think, stupid? She's my insurance. She goes with me, you got that? Robert, help me, please. Help me. This afternoon, a high school romance is undermined by religious bigotry and seasonal differences on the ABC After School special. And tonight, USA Today calls it a youth gang version of Hill Street Blues. It's Night Watch. Then, Sable comes between Alexis and Dex in more than just business maneuvers on Dynasty. After... ABC News exposes waste, fraud, and mismanagement in our defense system. In the business of defense, flaws in the shield.